Hey guys, it's Summer. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad that you decided to click today's video. In today's video, we are going to be doing something a little different. I am going to be doing a weekly check-in with you guys to show you how my budget is looking so far this month. So for today's check-in, we are going to be looking at my expenses from October 1st to October 10th. I do not have my expenses on this monthly spread. On this monthly spread, I just have my bills that come out of my checking account, so my fixed expenses. I'm not sure if I want to add my variable expenses. I know a lot of budgeters do add their variable expenses. Okay, let's look in my wallet. I'm gonna go ahead and take this out to make it easier. I'm gonna move this out the way. I have to be honest, I have done a lot of spending these last 10 days, so let's see what I have done. So for food, yikes, I've done quite a bit of expenses. Um, food started out with $600. I did go to Costco and I spent $15. I went to Costco and spent another $15. I did go to happy hour, which was $15. I had a HelloFresh order, which was $74.29. And then because I did add some premium dishes to that HelloFresh order, it was an additional $35.96. I did go to Albertsons this weekend and I spent $14. I went to Aldi's this weekend and spent $32. I went to Target and spent $22. And then I did buy some items from Costco for a friend and they paid me back the $26. So I went ahead and deposited $26. This 1010 expense was all from Sunday. I went grocery shopping and I cannot seem to grocery shop at only one store. I tend to go to several stores, so I definitely wanna work on that. Although I did spend a lot of money on groceries this week, next week I am not going to be doing HelloFresh. And I think I stocked up on a lot of things. Earlier this month I did buy a deep freeze, so I have been putting things in my freezer. So I honestly don't think I'll need to go grocery shopping this weekend. I think everything that I bought will get me through this week and next week. So it says I should have $403. Let's see how I did. Let's see if we have $403 in here. 100, 200, 300, 400, one, two, three. So $403 is here. So all of my expenses are up to date from my cash spendings. Gas started with $240. I did put $47 in my tank and this weekend I filled up again on Sunday and I put that was $51 so it says I should have $142 in gas. Let's see. 50, 100, 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. So the $142 is there. I have to say I have been doing a much better job at tracking. Guilt-free, I did spend pretty much everything. It was my friend's birthday, which we knew. So we did a girls night out and I spent $75. And then I also went to happy hour last week and that was $25. So I have spent all of my guilt-free money, so this envelope has nothing in it. For household, it started off with $100. I did go to Costco and I spent $55. I did have to get a lot of household products, so detergent, downy. I got some cleaning supplies. I think I got a new broom. And then I also had to pick up um, AA batteries and AAA batteries. And then I went to Costco and spent $36. That was on a mattress pad. My mattress pad 
got destroyed when I washed it. So it says I should be left with $9. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is correct. Self care. Self care started off with $300. I did buy some new sweatbands, headbands that I can wear when I work out. I'm really focused on getting back in shape and making sure that I'm going to the gym. So that was $17. I have a Weight Watcher subscription. I am a lifetime member. We haven't had to weigh in since COVID, but I guess we had to weigh in. And because I did not weigh in, that was a $15 charge. I have not been really tracking my food on Weight Watchers, so I'm not sure if I should cancel or if I should just keep my lifetime membership. I'm not even sure if I am at my goal weight. In order to maintain Weight Watchers, lifetime membership status you have to be within two pounds of your goal weight of course you can weigh a lot less than your goal weight however you can only be two pounds over your goal weight i did have a facial done last week that was eighty dollars i went to target i had to purchase some face wipes for my son and I just took that out of um, self-care. I really should have taken it out of another envelope, but I did not. So that was $17. And then I went on a bike ride with my son and spent $13 on socks and I took that out of self-care. The socks one, guys, I tried my hardest. So my son wanted to go to the sock store and I feel like I have been spending so much money on him lately. He is the main reason why I go over budget. So I need to a lot more money to Jaden every month. So I told him that I did not want to go to the sock store because I am spending so much money on him and he doesn't have chores. So I told him I want to start giving him chores and giving him an allowance. That way with his allowance money, he can buy things that he wants as well as it will start teaching him money management skills. I told myself prior to going to the sock store that I was not going to buy Jaden any socks. He brought his wallet and he did have money in his wallet. However, when I got to the sock store, that all changed. Jaden looked around the store. He did have quite a bit of money in his wallet. I want to say I saw a couple $50 bills and I may have saw a $100 bill and some other bill denominations in his wallet. He decided he was going to buy two socks. He said he did not want to spend all of his money on socks. So he settled for his two favorite. I did see that he was eyeing a pair of socks but he chose his two favorite. And I was just really impressed that he did not try to negotiate with me in the store because my son is a big negotiator and I'm surprised he did not say, mom, if I buy this pair, will you buy this pair? Or mom, please buy these socks for me because he knows I give in. But he got up to the register, he pulled out his wallet and paid for his two socks. After the transaction was complete, I asked him if he really wanted um, the other pair of socks and he said yes so I told him I would buy it for him so that was $13 so that was an unplanned expense but Jaden is an only child and he's pretty spoiled and I just have a really hard time with not getting him the things that he wants so this is the pair of socks that I bought Jaden they are so cute he really liked them um, this summer he did find out that he needed glasses so he thought that this was really cool because he is now wearing glasses and that it was an inside joke the doctor told him he was not able to read a lot of the letters on the chart um, which was I was very surprised about because I did have his eyes checked a couple years ago and at the eye place they told me that you no longer need to have your eyes checked every year I guess the schools do a screening and the doctors do a screening, but your eyes can change. And because of COVID, 
They, he hasn't been screened by the school in like two years. So now he needs glasses, which I did buy over summer. So make sure you get your kid's eyes checked because I would have had no idea that he needed glasses. He only needs glasses for when he's reading. So I guess he can see near, but he needs glasses to see distance. And for miscellaneous, I started with $100. I did buy some things off of Amazon. That was $32. I did have to do laundry. That was $25. I did go to Aldi's. I spent $13. I ended up buying some dish towels that I needed. And then I spent $21 at Target. This, I bought some meal prep containers since I am focused on my health right now. I wanted to buy some meal prep containers and that was $21. So it says I should have $9 left. So let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. That is there. And back to the bank does have some money. I already did a deposit. So when I use my debit card, I do take money out of the envelopes and put back to the bank. So right now, back to the bank has 50, 70, 75, 76, 77 dollars. Let's go ahead and check my tracker for my bank account. I have been doing a really good job at keeping track of my expenses from my debit cards. I've been keeping track of my expenses from my debit card. However, I have not been keeping up with the highlighting, but I can always go back and do that. SDG&E is a home expense, so that's gray. Amazon, I'm not sure what envelope that came back, so I'll have to go back and look at my envelope. Orange Theory is self-care, so that gets highlighted in purple laundry is household so that gets highlighted in gray Amazon it says this was a household item as well tomb buddy is a subscription I don't have a color for tomb buddy I did have a fabletics purchase it reads weird I just copied it how it was on my online bank statement and so it was Fabletics LL not sure that was self-care I did not take that out of the envelope so let's go ahead and do that right now so I did have a subscription to Fabletics and I would get a credit once a month to get one workout outfit I did put that on hold and I guess it the hold expired and you have to skip the month by the fourth of the month and I did not skip the month so I was charged $49.95 it's an unexpected charge I was not expecting it to resume however that is okay I could use a new workout outfit to kind of help get me motivated to get back in shape. So that's $49.95. So let's just see if we can take out $50. Okay. So we're going to give back to the bank a $50 bill. Okay. Texas Roadhouse. My best friend did come into town. We celebrated her birthday and she really wanted to go out to Texas Roadhouse this last weekend. I wasn't planning to go to Texas Roadhouse and spend so much money, but I went to Texas Roadhouse to celebrate with her and that was $71.70. That is a food expense, so that gets colored in teal. And let's take $71.70 or $72 out of my food envelope. Okay, I don't have 72. So let me see. So 100 minus 72 is $28. Let's see if I have $28 in the back to the bank.
So we have $27 in back to the bank, so let's just give it $27. So I'll put this $100 bill in the back to the bank. Put the change in food. Car wash was $32.95. That was a planned expense, so we've already budgeted for that in my October budget. Fabletics was $6.72. I am a little disappointed about this. I do not recall when using a credit having to pay tax. And in fact, there was two tax charges on this order. One was for $4.00 and one was for $2.72. So I'm definitely gonna call them and ask about that because I thought the credit covered my tax. But anyways, the tax was $6.72. So that needs to come out of self-care. So let's see if we have $8 in self-care. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yikes, self-care only has $800. So let's put that in back to the bank. And then the last expense was the gas. I already took that out of my envelope. So let's just go ahead and highlight it the gas color or the car color. Okay. Well, that is a look at my expenses so far from October 1st to October 10th. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any suggestions for how I should do my weekly check-in, I would love to hear them. This is my first time doing a weekly check-in. I think it's definitely going to help hold me accountable. However, I do want to fine tune how I do my weekly check-in. So I would love to hear your suggestions and feedback. Well, I hope you guys have an amazing day. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.